David Carnes is standing by in the Storm Alert Center on a very eventful day and an yeah. eventful week. Yeah, and just downright dreary in addition to all that. Hey, David. Yeah, hey guys, we are, I think, looking forward to the weekend for so many reasons. We're going to get rid of the rainfall and it's the weekend, but that is still a few days off and we have a lot to get to before then. Uh, more rain moving in this evening. It's going to linger through the overnight and on the Cumberland Plateau, some of that is going to change over into freezing rain, which is when the rain falls and pretty much freezes immediately as it hits the surface. That is really slick ice. So when that gets on roads, bridges, uh, things of that nature, it's going to be a huge problem for untreated surfaces on the Cumberland Plateau. I think that's where it will stay though in the Tennessee Valley. It's just going to be rain and we're going to have more rain on Thursday. Uh, then it's going to cool down and dry out a bit this weekend. We're looking forward to that. It's already down to 49 in Chattanooga, 50 Scottsboro, 46 Cleveland, 53 Murphy. But look on the plateau. That's where the much colder air is. It's already 37. It will drop below freezing tonight. So that's why that is the location that is going to be the biggest problem. Notice it's 13, 16 degrees colder now than it was 24 hours ago there. Meanwhile, move east into the valley. It's anywhere from two to three to five, nine degrees colder than 24 hours ago. So this is what it looks like. We were talking about that ice warning uh, yesterday for Memphis, Little Rock up into Jackson, and you can see they are under the gun right now with that ice accumulating. Latest forecast was showing anywhere from a quarter up to a half an inch of ice, numerous power outages possible there, and some of that is lingering into Middle Tennessee. Notice all of these areas. This is where we have winter weather advisories where we could see light accumulations of ice even on the plateau. So let's take a look at our uh, future cast. Uh, all rain moving in 8 o'clock tonight. This is going to be the picture, but then as we really see temperatures dropping, we're going to see scattered showers. This is midnight into Wednesday morning, and notice now we're starting to see some of that wintry mix, some of that ice uh, freezing rain and sleet that's going to be falling on the plateau. Still just rain in the valley and that's the way it stays through six o'clock in the morning. Still scattered showers. It will be a wet commute for most of us on the plateau. It's going to be wet and icy in spots. This is eight o'clock. We're still looking at that same picture and then the rain and precipitation tapers off to just spotty showers here and there Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night. We move into Thursday and well, no rest for the weary. Uh, see all of this all of this is moving this way. So 6 a.m. will start it up and get that rain train going once again. Uh, this is lunchtime. The rain continues. It will be heaviest during the afternoon and the early evening. And then notice this front sweeping down. That's going to bring in cool air, push all of that rain out, and it is going to bring us a much needed period of dry weather. And we are certainly looking forward to that. So our storm alert seven day forecast. We are going to call it storm alert weather day for tomorrow in response to the possibility of ice on the roadways on the Cumberland plateau overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. It's also going to be wet for just about everyone else. So just kind of a hazardous commute tomorrow morning in general. And then we're going to have just solid rain pushing through on Thursday that will taper off Thursday night and early Friday morning. That 10% is for maybe a couple of showers early Friday morning and then 46 with sunshine on Friday afternoon cold on Saturday. Uh, still chilly on Sunday, but beginning to warm up and look at that Monday. That's my pick day 61 and mostly sunny. And then, oh, look at that. A few more showers. Maybe we'll be ready for them by then on Tuesday. But tonight, be careful.